Hey dear coders, welcome back to API Codo, where we bring you exciting and education content. In today's tutorial, we will dive into world of computer vision and fire detection using OpenCV and Python. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you uh, so you our latest tutorials. And let's jump right now. Today we have a Python script that is uses OpenCV to detect fire in a live video stream from your webcam. We have added a cool alert sound to notify when you when fire is detected. Let's break and let's code step by step. So first we will import CV2. Import CV2 and import numpy as a NMP as a NP. Okay, is we have just given an alias. Okay, like NP, and we will import from play sound import play sound okay so before importing this make sure you have this library you have open you have a, a cv2 and numpy and play play sound install okay so to install this library you have to go in a terminal you have to go in a new terminal and here you have to install pip install opencv python opencv dash python numpy and play sound so don't forget this i'll just give you in a description link that by this by this command you would be able to install three library at a single line of command okay so hit enter so my requirement is already satisfied because i already i have installed opencv and numpy and play sound okay so this code begins by importing the required libraries opencv for computer vision and numpy for numerical operated and play sound for playing audio alerts okay so now we will just set up the webcam now we will just you know, write a set of the webcam so cap is equal to cv dot video captures so we have initialized the webcam using opencv video capture func function okay this is the video capture function adjust the parameter if you have a multiple cameras connected okay so you can just adjust the, these parameters now we have to define the color range of detection okay so now we have to define the color range of detection so we will write lower red lower red is equal to numpy that array and it has a 0 120 and 70 and now we will write upper red is equal to numpy dot array 10 25 and 25 okay so we have set the lower and upper bounds of the red color okay is a in hsv format this is range help us to identify the fire in the video stream you can see this is a lower red and the upper reds so it is a mainly help us to identify the fire in the video stream okay now we will just load the alert sound okay now we will just load the alert sound so make sure you have the alert sound in the web format so in the same directory okay so here i am a mixed class alarm this is my web this is my alert sound alert sound i have just loaded here so i have just downloaded you can download i also i will just provide you this link of download and i'll just give you a complete source code of this project okay don't care about this so here i am using a mixed classing alarm dot wave you can see so this is the same in my directory fire detection directory so you have to give a full path here for your alert sound okay so now we will just load the alert sound so alert sound is equal to mix it so here you have to just give a full path of your alert sound okay so you have to keep this you have to down you can download from anywhere this is the sound for i think this is for five seconds so this is the alert sound so you have to here you have to define your full path so basically this script uses a classic alarm okay sound to alert when the fire is detected so mainly this will this will this sound will ring when the fire is detected so you can replace it with your perfect sound so if you have a perfect sound for this so you can replace with this later and now we will just set a alert related variable okay we will just set a alert flag is equal to false alert is uh, alert flag is equal to false and cooldown frames so cooldown frames equal to 100 and current cooldown is equal to cooldown frames and mean counter area is equal to 1000 okay so you can see that we have established a variable 
for managing the alerts uh, alert system including cool down frames to prevent continuous alerts and minimum count our area okay now filter our small detection so now let's explore the main loop where the magic happens so we will just explore the main loop where the magic while show is equal to red frame is equal to cap dot red if not red break what if there is no red it will just break and hsv dot cv dot cv dot color frame cv dot color bzr to hsv so we continuously read the frame from the webcam okay we just continuously read the frame from the webcam until the user decide to exit the program you can see there is the while loop so until the user decide to exit the program this will continue running okay and now we have just defined hsv hsv and mass is equal to cv dot in range hsv lower red upper red okay so you can see that hsv and mask this is we both are uh, the both are the variable so we have converted we have converted each frame to hsv we have converted each frame to hsv color space and create a mask to isolate the red region which may present fire okay it will just present a fire and now we will apply a morphological operation to reduce the noise okay for that we will apply the morpho morphological operation to reduce the noise kernel is equal to np once mask is equal to cv dot delete mask kernel and iteration is equal to equal one mask is equal to cv dot a dot mask kernel iteration equal one so more physical operations such as a uh, deletion and erosion help reduce noise in the mask okay and now we will just use contours okay we'll just use contours contours equal cv dot find count hours must cv dot rater external cv chain abrupt simple okay so we we find counters in the mask representing the connected component this counter helps to identify the reason where fire might be presented okay where fire might be present and now for counter encounters now we will use a for loops here okay for counters in counter area is equal to cv dot counters area counter if area is lower than min counter area so continue filter counters based on the other properties okay now we will just use if not alert if if not alert flag and current cooldown is able to cool down frames okay now we will just play sound okay we will just play alert sound so you can say that we will play alert sound play sound is equal to alert sound and print fire directed so you can see that if not alert flag and current cooldown is equal to cooldown frame so it will play alert sound and print in the console you can see in the terminal fire is detected okay <laughs> and we will just use alert is equal alert flag is equal true so we have iterated through the identified counters filtering out the small ones if the significant if the significant counter is found and the alert system is not active we play the alert sound and set the alert flag true you can see and now we will just use uh, if alert flag if alert flag current cooldown and if current cooldown is equal equals zero alert flag false and current cooldown is equal to cooldown frames so if the alert flag is set so we enter the cooldown phase to avoid continuous alerts okay to avoid continuous alert cv dot draw counters cv dot draw counters frame counters hyphen 1 0 250 0 2 
and cv dot i am show fire detection so what it will do it will show in a title the fire detection in i am show cv dot cv2 dot i am show fire detection you can change fire detection frame so we draw the counters on the original frame and display in the window title for fire detection so we have just used a window title for fire detection and now we will let if cv dot weight key if cv to dot weight key break so if we will just enter the queue so it will just break okay and the program exit so if you are just running this program so you can exit the program by pressing key okay q key and cap dot release cap dot all destroy all windows so we release the webcam and close the all open cv windows okay so by this if you run this project so you would be able to use this project okay so that's a that concludes our tutorial on fire reduction using OpenCV in Python. I hope you found it informative and fun. Feel free to experiment with the code and customize it for your project. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in a comment below. And don't forget to like this videos and subscribe to API.